everybody, it's Lucidity. Welcome back to Japanese History for Everyone. Today, we are going to talk about how the samurai class was able to take over Japan. So you all have heard of the emperor, and you may have heard of a person called the shogun. So what is the difference between the two? Who really led Japan? Well, the answer to that depends on which part of history we're talking about. Japan was led solely by the emperor until the end of the Heian period. And it's after a period known as the Genpei War that the samurai were able to establish a samurai-led government under the shogun. At this point, the emperor was relegated to the position of a figurehead. The emperor continued to be a figurehead until the end of the 19th century, when the Meiji government was established under the rule of the emperor. It stays this way until about the end of World War II, when the emperor again becomes a figurehead, and instead a democratic system is established underneath a president. So today is the first of two parts in which we discuss how the shogun became the ruler of Japan instead of the emperor. In order to follow this story along, I need to explain two things. The first is the background of the Taira and Minamoto clans, and the second is the concept of the Insei system, also known as cloistered rule. The Taira and the Minamoto clans were created during the reign of Emperor Kanmu, when the imperial family became too large, becoming a burden on the imperial court who supported them financially. It was decided that all children not in line to the throne would be given a clan name and taken off the imperial bill, supporting themselves instead. After the year 825, some of the grandchildren of Emperor Kanmu received the name Taira, and not long after, the name Minamoto was given to the children of Emperor Saga, Emperor Kanmu's second son who had a whopping 49 children with 30 different women. These clans were also known as samurai clans, as the position of samurai became associated with high status and also became a hereditary position. However, the samurai at this time are still primarily a military class and do not hold power over the emperor. The Insei system was created by the emperors of Japan to prevent influences from powerful clans such as the Fujiwara, who were marrying their daughters to the emperor, and as grandfathers, influencing the emperor behind the scene. This system worked as follows. The emperor would abdicate the throne at a young age, usually in their early 20s or late teens. Then they would elevate their young sons to the position of emperor around the ages of three to six. Since the emperor was still only a child, the former emperor would continue to rule as a regent until their deaths. Now, for the story. This story starts with Emperor Konoe, who becomes the Emperor of Japan at the age of three years old. His father is the retired Emperor Sotoku, and his grandfather, the true ruler of Japan, is the retired Emperor Toba, who rules the country on Emperor Konoe's behalf. But suddenly, at the age of 16, Emperor Konoe dies, with no heir. So Emperor Toba chooses to bypass Emperor Sotoku and his other children, and chooses instead one of his younger children as the new Emperor, Emperor Go Shirakawa. So what you have as a result are two competing factions. The Minamoto supports Emperor Sutoku, and they are led by Minamoto no Yoshitomo. And Emperor Go Shirakawa is supported by the Taira clan, led by Taira no Kiyomori. In 1156, the retired Emperor Toba dies. And those loyal to Emperor Sutoku, namely the Minamoto and Fujiwara clans, decide that maybe this is the opportunity to oust Emperor Go Shirakawa and choose a son of the Emperor Sutoku to be the Emperor of Japan, as they felt should have happened in the first place. But the Taira clan successfully suppresses any uprising through military force. So then, we flash forward to the year 1159. Emperor Go Shirakawa abdicates in favor of his son, Emperor Nijo. A little while after, Taira no Kiyomori, head of the Taira clan and supporters of Emperor Nijo, leaves Kyoto with his family to go on a personal pilgrimage. This leaves the Minamoto clan and the Fujiwara clan to once again plan an uprising. This event is known as the Siege of Sanjo Palace. Minamoto Yoshitomo and Fujiwara Nobuyori place the Emperor Go Shirakawa and Emperor Nijo under house arrest and kill their retainer. They then set fire to the palace and Fujiwara Nobuyori declares himself as the new imperial chancellor. But there's a problem. This plan was not very well thought out, and the Minamoto do not have enough men to defend the city upon Taira Kiyomori's return. When Kiyomori returns, he quickly takes the city back, frees the emperor, and banishes the Minamoto, seizing their wealth and their land. They then consolidate their power by establishing a samurai government, led by the Taira clan. But this only builds resentment by the Minamoto clan, and you'll see in the next video that their power does not last for long.